Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, it is August the 17th, 2020, I'm going to be testing and reviewing Adam's Graphene Ceramic Coating Kit. Now we're going to be putting this on the 2019 Chevy LCF 4500. I have never used ceramic coatings before. My One of my most favorite products is the Adams Paint Sealant. You guys have seen multiple, multiple videos of me using that on several different cars, most notably the Honda Accord that is gone, but that stuff is amazing. So I have high hopes that this product will be every bit or better than that. I was able to get almost a year and a half out of uh, out of the Adams paint sealant and that car, you know, it really, really, really held up well on that car. So they claim that this has a seven year durability. So we'll make this into a long-term test. I have to kind of hurry. It doesn't say you can or can't do this in the sunlight. I've already washed the cab. I've clay, I used the uh, clay mitt. I did that. So all we have to do is do a little bit of prep and then apply it. But I'm losing shadow out there because it's uh, it's about, what is it, 9.30 in the morning. So we got to hurry before the sun gets to it. Anyway, enough talk. Let's go apply the Adams Graphene coating to the truck. All right, so we're going to be taking the Adams Surface Prep and spraying off anything. Well, everywhere we're going to actually be using this. I'm going to put it on the windshield. I'm going to put it on all the painted surfaces. They give you a really, really nice plush microfiber towel. All the painted surfaces. Thank goodness. All right, so I'm gonna do this side first because the uh, sun is trying to come here first. So I've got the uh, bottle of graphene. It's actual, looks like a metal, or not metal, a glass bottle. So this is the applicator pad they give you. So and I've got gloves on. Put on there like this. Put the cap back on. And I'm just going to start with the uh, with the window. It's vaporizing really quick. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know how I'll be able to see this on the actual paint. I'm going to put it on the rubber. All right, so after you do that, they only want you to work on a small section. You take this gray, it's like a suede, suede towel and Wipe off the excess. So it is very, very, very difficult to see where this is going on. Now I know they got a UV light, but I'm not going to buy a UV light to do this. I would just rather um, use the Adams paint sealant, but I'm not counting it out yet. So I am not going to put it on the front windshield. Maybe I will at a later date until I see what happens on here. Because I can still see some uh, remnants on there. Okay. 
All right, so I have gotten the entire cab of the truck. I did not do the glass on this side. And I did not do this glass or this mirror, the actual glass. But yeah, I went ahead and did the back. So this being my first time I've ever applied ceramic uh, coating, it is extremely slick. It feels like oiled glass. Uh, I'm going to, I don't know if the camera can pick up. That's not going to be able to. There's just a little bit of haziness here. So I don't know if that'll dissipate or not, but we'll see. And, you know, this is going to be a long-term review. I'll come back in a week, and uh, I'll let you guys see what it looks like. can't really see where I'm putting it on this white. And some of it is um, because of the color of the car, and some of it is maybe just because it's flashing. But I will tell you what, this is so smooth, so slick. So, anyway, so, guys, I will uh, see you on the next video.